Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. We're going to be talking about Venus in the sixth house in a natal chart. Now, first off, um, what I want to state is uh, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on the Venus placements in the houses. Uh, they're a little bit concise, and some people may refer to them as snappy. So, what I decided to do is make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. Uh, so, anyway, first off, uh, Venus in the sixth house is comparable to Venus in Virgo, but naturally you've got to blend in the zodiac uh, sign with it. Venus in Libra in the sixth house uh, would be much different than Venus in Aries in the sixth house, as an example. Now, the thing about this is. Um, Venus in astrology is connected with uh, what we love and enjoy and what we're enamored with. So, when you know, people um, have anyone with this placement, uh, a lot of or a lot of people with this placement, I should say, you know, may really be enamored with their job, their place of employment, the work they do, the service that they may provide um, for somebody uh, or something. And, um, and really, this could be somebody infatuated you know, with their health and you know, staying with some you know, diet and matters with nutrition, you know, health and fitness, working out vigorously. This could be you know, somebody too that uh, may really love to uh, diagnose things, whether it could be a computer, troubleshooting a computer or a vehicle, um, as some examples. And also, there may be more love uh, for pets. Know, than uh, than most people, and um, and also too, uh, they may enjoy you know the long distance traveling of the dominant parent, which is often the father. Um, keep in mind, this is the um, it's the ninth house um, from the tenth house, so it is connected with long distance uh, journeys associated with the dominant parent. Now, another thing uh, about this, now Venus in astrology is connected with uh, our relationships, including our uh, significant friendships. So these are things where the person may often analyze, but sometimes worry about as well. And the relationships these people may have may um, impact you know, their connection with an aunt or uncle more so than most people. It could be something that um, you know, they may figure these people may figure more prominently in one's daily routine than most people. It's um, it's they might feel they have more of a connection or rapport with their beds more so than most people. And they all, just people that have this place may also want you know people they're connected with, whether it's a you know, significant other, marriage partner, an important friend. They may want these people to be clean. Um, emphasize hygiene uh, or could be relationships play a role uh, may play into a role in your own health and hygiene um, but keep in mind um, you know, six house is the house of Virgo and you know it's important to guard against being overly um, you know, judgmental or critical of these people um, as well people that you're in significant relationship with or important friends or it could actually could reflect that these people may be somewhat judgmental and um, critical as well now venus in astrology is also connected with money so when you have venus positive in the sixth house in the natal chart you, know, you may make money could be doing something like six house related uh, working as uh, making money as a statistician, some kind of analyst, like a data analyst or sports analyst, doing something, um, you know, with health and fitness. It could be some diagnostic work or you know, something that requires um, a lot of analysis. Um, and money is something that you may have more like compartmentalized, more organized than most people on average. And money may often be spent on um, exercise, like the workout equipment, whether it's Nautilus equipment or free weights or what have you. Things that just make you healthy, that you feel are healthy uh, for you that might augment uh, your health. And now Venus is also associated with our values. and. When you have Venus posited in the sixth house and natal chart, you know, those values may be strongly tied into your work, your employment, your health, um, the service you provide. 
from others, you know, having some kind of um, routine and, um, and the values too, you may value your connection, you know, with an aunt or an uncle, you know, your fellow employees more so than most people on average and, and also having, you know, good, you know, diet, nutrition and um, in your pets as well, if you do have any. Thing, um, if you do have any pets, um, that is. So the value may value more of like, you know, people just having, you know, or you just having a good work ethic, you know, more so than most people. Now, um, Venus in astrology is also um, associated with our self worth, our self esteem, and how we feel about ourselves. So when you have this placement, well, your self-worth may be more tied into, you know, the work you perform, you know, your, your employment. You know, if you're with a good company and you're getting steady raises, you know, the money you may be making at your place of employment. You know, being helpful to others, being able to be of some kind of help or service to other people. Those are things, you know, where your, your self-worth, you know, is really, um, you know, comes into, could come into play. And, you know, um, and also matters of self-worth, you know, may, you know, impact, you know, a connection you may have with an aunt or an uncle or people that figure prominently in your daily routine, uh, your fellow employees as some examples. And also, it may reflect how you are in terms of your own physical health and um, you know, how your hygiene as well, how you take care of yourself. And, uh, you know, the thing about it is, you know, guard against, you know, you know your self-worth being tied in with a, a need to be perfect as well. Remember, this is the sixth house, which corresponds with the zodiac sign Virgo, and Virgo is about, you know, wanting to be, you know, perfect or infallible. So these are some things, you know, to be, you know, to, to guard if you have this placement in your natal chart. Now, Venus is also associated with our, uh, you know, possessions, the material items. So Venus posited in the sixth house. Well, you know, this could be where you know, your a lot of your possessions, you know, may be frugal. When I say this, you know, they may be, you know, things that you, you know, you spent, you know, frugally on. You know, where you didn't really spend a lot of money. You might, you know, buy more, you know, the generic, you know, type items or. You know, and look, looking for bargains, you know, garage sales, you know, buying things from those outlets, so to speak, more so than most people. Your possessions, um, many of your possessions may be related to health and fitness, to your nutrition. Um, you may have more hygienic items than most people. You, if you have any pets, you may have more you know, accessories for them, toys, you know, pet toys as um, an example. And as far as your employment and this matters, um, you may have more things, you know, items, you know, connected with your, uh, you know, your place of employment more so uh, than the average person as well. So uh, another thing about uh, Venus and astrology is connected with our latent talents and abilities. So when you have Venus positive in the sixth house, well, these talents and abilities may be tied in you know, to, um, you know, analysis, diagnosis, even extrapolating data, compiling data, you know, getting statistical information and ability to organize and compartmentalize as some examples. And it could be, um, you may desire to develop those abilities to close to perfection, you know, as most, um, you know, compared more so than the average person. Now, it's also, um, you know, you know, doing things, you know, um, health related um, as well. You know, ability just to be healthy, to help could be to help others become as healthy as possible. And uh, another thing about Venus and astrology, it's associated with the food that we, you know, love to indulge in, the food that we enjoy. So when you have, um, you know, this, um, you know, this placement in your natal chart, it could be a you know, very healthy, nutritious food you may love and enjoy. You may have a certain routine um, with this. It may be where you spend frugally um, on, on, those, um, on those foods. They may often be shared with an aunt or uncle. 
your fellow employees, people that play an integral role in your daily routine and the food that you enjoy may be such where, you know, it's it's like, you know, clean you make sure that it's cleaner like the freshly washed fruit, um, as an example, or, or vegetables um, as well. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Ibn Learn saying stay well.